Hey everyone, this is Mrs. Ritchie with your first MLA assignment. Um, it's actually MLA notes that are put into MLA format. So the first thing you need to do is take a look up here. You don't have anything in the header. And of course, you know, the header is last name space page number. So we can click on insert page numbers. And then you want to choose the page number option that has the pages in the top right hand corner numbered, whoops, one, two, et cetera. So you're going to pick this one. And it's got a one in the top right hand corner. You want to just put your cursor in front of the one and type last name space page number. So I'm just going to use Smith on mine because my name is going to be as the teacher's name too. So I didn't want to use it twice. So back in the header, blinking cursor before the one, Smith space one, and it's Times New Roman, size 12. Perfect. And then you can just double click out of that. All right, now we have our heading. Now clearly it's the student's name first. So these are mixed up on purpose. You want to start with your first name and your last name. So I'm going to just maybe use, I'll use Emma Smith. And of course, you're going to use your first name and last name. Okay. So last name space page number in Times New Roman size 12, Emma Smith, followed by the teacher's name. So we can get rid of this. And it's going to be Mrs. Ritchie, Emerging Technology CP, and the date is uh, military style. So we can get rid of that. And it's going to be Thirteen April, 2020. Okay, perfect. Now looking at this MLA report, it doesn't quite look like an MLA report because um, the entire paper has to be double spaced. So it's very easy to do. Control A. And you're going to go to format, line spacing, double and then you want to go to format line spacing custom spacing and make sure it's zero zero two is double zero zero apply okay it's looking a lot better the next thing you're going to do is control a again and just make sure you change yours to times new roman size 12. mine's already times new roman size 12 because i was playing around with it before okay the title is centered, okay? You tab in your paragraphs, beautiful, beautiful. Here's an in-text citation. Author's name, page number in parentheses and then followed by the period. And look what happened, Smith too. Now this is gonna be your last name, space page number in Times New Roman size 12. This is a block quote. It's blocked up one inch. And I can show you how to do that. You just highlight the quote and you go to format, align and indent. And we can go to indentation options and it's left aligned one inch apply. Okay, you can practice that. Following down, here's the rest of the MLA, tabbing in the paragraphs, beautiful, beautiful. And this is the last sentence. And because it's um, a URL, it kind of goes on to the next page because it was too long to shorten it here. So it's kind of goofy looking, but that's just the way it goes. When you get to the end of your last page, control enter will give you a brand new page and you're gonna center the words works cited. And it's still already set to double space. And your work cited entries are alphabetical by the first item in your work cited. Okay, so you can highlight everything and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do the hanging indent. It's um, format, aligning indent, 
indentation options, special indent. You're going to do a hanging indent by 0.5 apply. And here you have a perfectly formatted MLA report. Okay, so you're going to get one um, quite similar to this with a few mistakes or things you have to change and follow it along so that when you're done, it looks like this. Okay, and you're going to put, don't forget your last name, space, page number, um, your first name, last name, my name, the course name, the date, center your title, and then when you're done, your entire report should look like this. Okay, email me if you have any questions, and you also have MLA notes to do this week. And that's about it, guys. Have a good day.